Welcome to Crypto Stock Lab. All right, let's dive right in. We are talking about what is truly one of the most significant moments in crypto history, a huge fundamental series of upgrades to Ethereum. And I want to be clear, this is not just another small update. We're talking about a complete rewiring of how we're all going to interact with the blockchain and it's aimed squarely at solving its biggest, most frustrating challenges. You know, for years, the whole promise of Web3 has felt like it's just around the corner, but it's been held back by a few major hurdles. Well, get ready, because Ethereum is now taking aim at the very problems that have kept everyday people on the sidelines. And believe me, the changes are profound. I mean, just think about it for a second. The apps you use on your phone every day, they're totally seamless, right? Secure, easy, you don't even think about it. But then you try to interact with crypto and whoa, it's often been so clunky, so complicated, and let's be honest, pretty scary for newcomers. That gap, that huge difference in experience is exactly what Ethereum's latest upgrades are built to close for good. So what is this final barrier we're talking about? It's all about the user experience. It's that anxiety you feel writing down a 12 word seed phrase, just praying you don't lose it. It's the sticker shock when you see some crazy high transaction fee. These are the core pain points and they're finally being targeted. Okay, first up, let's talk about the revolution in user experience. And what's so cool about this is that the solution isn't some brand new, crazy, untested idea. Nope, it's something millions of us already use and trust every single day. The magic behind this is something called EIP-4337. Now an EIP is just a technical blueprint for a new feature. This one enables what's called account abstraction, which in simple terms means it integrates the super secure technology that powers your phone's face ID or fingerprint scanner directly into your Ethereum wallet. Yeah, that means you'll be able to approve transactions just by looking at your phone. The difference here is just night and day. Remember the old way? Creating a password, scribbling down that long seed phrase, hiding it somewhere safe. The new flow? You open an app, you scan your face, and you're in. It is literally that simple. This quote really just says it all, doesn't it? No seed phrases, no friction, just native hardware level security. The era of frantically searching for that crumpled piece of paper is over. It's being replaced by the exact same level of security that protects your banking apps built right into the device in your hand. And the implications of this are just huge. I mean, onboarding new users will feel as simple as logging into any other app. Security jumps to what is essentially Apple-grade protection. This one move could kick mobile adoption into high gear across the globe. It even reinforces trust with big institutions because the tech becomes so seamless, it just fades into the background. But listen, a great user experience doesn't mean a whole lot if it's too expensive to actually use. So the second part of this upgrade is an equally massive improvement to the network's engine, and it's all designed to slash costs. This is powered by a tech called Protodank Sharding. I know, the name is a mouthful, but the concept is actually brilliant. There's this great analogy. Imagine the network's computers, or nodes, need to verify a huge amount of data. Let's call it a giant pizza. The old way, every single node would have to download and eat the entire pizza just to confirm it's good. Super slow, right? With this new upgrade, they each just taste a slice. By sampling tiny pieces, the whole network can validate all the data way more efficiently. And the result of this? It's dramatic. We are looking at a drop of over 90% in transaction fees on layer two networks, you know, places like Arbitrum, Optimism, and Base. This makes using apps on Ethereum reliably and consistently cheap. So how does this work? Well, it massively increases the network's data capacity using something called data blobs. This chart shows you just how big a deal this is. The recent Denkun upgrade took us to a maximum of six of these blobs per block, but the future goal with full dank sharding is 64. More data capacity means less fighting for space, and that directly translates to lower fees for every single one of us. So let's put the two pieces together. We've got an incredible new user experience, and we have dramatically lower costs. When you combine those two things, you don't just get a small improvement. You get a powerful feedback loop, a true flywheel for mass adoption. And you can really see how these drivers feed off of each other. That better user experience, it brings in millions of new mobile users. The massive fee drop, it makes it possible for them to actually use the network cheaply, which accelerates the growth of layer twos. And that combination of top tier security and super low cost infrastructure is exactly what makes Ethereum so attractive to the big institutions.
And hey, this growth isn't just a theory. Analysts are actually projecting that the total value locked up in these Layer 2 ecosystems could more than double, jumping from around $40 billion today to over $100 billion by mid-2026, all as a direct result of these upgrades. And you know, all this new activity has a direct impact on ETH itself. Because of the way transaction fees work now, a part of every single fee gets burned. It's permanently removed from circulation. So if Layer 2 activity doubles, we could see over 5,000 ETH burned every single day. That creates some serious deflationary pressure on the asset. So when you put all of this together, it's just so clear. This upgrade cycle isn't just another small step. It really marks the beginning of a completely new chapter for Ethereum and honestly, for the entire crypto space. This quote, for me, just perfectly captures what's happening. For the first time, Ethereum is really positioned to move beyond being tech for a handful of enthusiasts and developers and instead become that invisible, essential technology that people use in their daily lives without even thinking about it. And this isn't just our take. This view is shared all over the place. A financial giant like Fidelity is calling this a new era for value accrual. And Ethereum's own founder, Vitalik Buterin, has called this a critical pivot moment for the network's ability to scale to a global level. So the pieces are finally falling into place. You've got a seamless user experience, rock bottom fees, and institutional grade security all arriving at the same time. It really leaves us with one final and very exciting thought. The technology is about to be ready for the masses. The only question left is, are the masses ready for it?